The addition of Aiden and Ranch are a real game changer for Watch Dogs Legion. And not only are they a ton of fun to play and can cause a ton of chaos in the city in really, really unique ways, they also make the single player and the online modes way better. I want to go over everything you can do with both characters in this video, the new things they bring to the table like a more fun single player experience and way way more. If you of course enjoy the Watch Dogs content here on the channel then totally leave a like on the video to show your support and let's go. First things first, you need to get the season pass in order to use both Aiden and Ranch in the single player and the online modes. If you buy the Bloodline DLC separately, you do have access to that expansion but won't be able to play these characters in other modes. The Bloodline DLC is by the way really good, I talked about that in my review which I will link to at the end of this video for if you haven't watched it yet. No, in this video I mostly want to talk about the other parts of the game that are more fun now thanks to the addition of Ranch and Aiden Pierce. In order to play them in the single player you will need to recruit them first. The witch is easy by the way because they're just chilling in front of the safe house at the bar. So talk with them and they can switch to them. You'll by the way also immediately see their outfit pieces pop up when going into the game. Which means that you can for example put Aiden's coat on other operatives. They will not put their hands in the pockets though, that's of course Aiden exclusive. So I'm still at the point where I'm like, why would I change Aiden's clothes? Because I really, really like it. But you can of course do that. You can put any outfit piece on Aiden if you want and even give him Ranch's outfit or the other way around. Not sure why you would do that, but it's possible. Now overall having the hood from Ranch is awesome on many different characters. And by the way also added a brand new feature with this update. If you go into the wardrobe and go to the mask section, you can select the mask mode. Auto is what it normally is. Always off means you will never wear a mask, also not in combat. And always on means you will always have the mask on. Nice, for example, with the panda mask, if you got that. Wrench always has his mask on from the get-go, but you can also use him without the mask if you want. And let's be honest here, Aiden, of course, looks way cooler with his face mask on at all times. So you also can go to the wardrobe to have that always show up. And you can also remove Aiden's beard if you want in the same shop menu. After removing it, you can then always bring it back by selecting the default option in the wardrobe tab. Aiden and Ranch also have their own unique intro cutscenes when you start playing as one of the characters. I especially love the ones from Ranch. Fuck you, you fascist. You think this is easy to do with the mask? That raucous energy is exactly what we need right now. Ready to work. But it gets even crazier. We do not only hear funny lines when they use their abilities. Sergey, it's time to fly. Or when they show off their dancing moves. Let me show you how it's done. And even when you're being chased by the police. Holy shit, do these guys just live in my ass now? So yeah, they recorded a ton of lines and you also hear their voice when talking to new recruits and also during the full Watch Dogs Legion campaign. So yes, you can play the full single player story with Aiden Pierce or Ranch as your hero and have way better voice acting because of it. Where normally it's a coin flip if a character sounds like a robot or has a more natural voice, this is not the case when playing Aiden or Ranch. It actually sounds really, really good. What's normal? You mean the one with government bricks shooting people dead? Nothing's normal when your government hires a PMC to fire on its own citizens. Every conversation with Bagley is voiced. You will even hear Aiden on the phone when playing Ranch, for example, in the different single player missions. I'm really curious if it's all recorded or if they're using the same technique that they also use for all the other characters you can play. You would think it's all recorded, but that would be a huge undertaking and I haven't heard Ubisoft say a word about that. Either way, that you cannot really hear the difference already says enough. Like, this is totally the best way to experience the campaign of Legion. Sure, they will lose some of their personality that we do see in the Bloodlines DLC, but still, like... It's way more fun. You first have to play a bit with random characters though when you start the single player of Legion for the first time. You can, by the way, select three operatives at the start of the game and they all have two perks. When the game came out, you could only select one and they only had one perk. 
Then, very soon after you just follow the missions, you can switch to Wrench and Aiden, which are also just way more fun to play than your regular characters. By doing side missions in the Bloodlines DLC, you can unlock extra weapons for Aiden to use. But in the single player and the online modes, you immediately have access to his full arsenal, so also the weapons you have to earn in the DLC meaning that Aiden has a very diverse loadout of guns. And all these guns can be enhanced with a special reload ability. Hit the button at the right time and you get increased damage. Something you will really notice with his signature pistol, but also with the light machine gun for example, against higher health targets like the drone from the city event. I really love the system crash ability which just hacks everything in the environment and the range is quite long as well. Totally use it on the street once, then cars will make weird turns, drones will fall out of the sky, it never really gets old. It's on a 1 minute 30 second cooldown after which you can do it again. A really amazing combo is using it in a restricted area, running up to the enemy, doing the takedown and then going into the slow motion. I showed you this footage in my Bloodline review as well, but I now tried it in the online mode and then you still have the visual effect but like the surroundings are not in slow motion. Makes sense because it would be weird if everything went in slow motion when playing with other players. But yeah, I'm not sure what the ability does right now. Everyone can by the way play Aiden. So you can have a full team of Aidens running around in the online mode. Also nice that Aiden can just walk up to anyone and do a gun takedown without having to disrupt them first. Which is really nice. It's like a great all around character to play. I do personally like to play Ranch a little bit more than... He's namely also really powerful and really chaotic as you would expect. You can for example drop bombs from your drone Sergei and watch cars in a small radius get hacked. Even more fun is shooting it at a turret which will then become your ally and will take out enemies for you. You by the way shoot the same grenades with your special grenade launcher which do not deal a lot of damage but can let enemies also fight for you or jam their weapons. Sometimes it's both, then you just have to wait a bit and then they will do your dirty work. Also really nice is that the cargo drone from Ranch is way faster than your regular cargo drone you find in the city or can summon with a mechanic. Trust me, we tried a race where you comically see Ranch just blast away. This means that you will not need a mechanic anymore if you got wrench. So totally use wrench for the hotspots in the online mode instead. And also if other players do not have the season pass, they can still enjoy the extra speeds by joining you. They can even change to a different character after having summoned the drone and then still use it, which is nice. The other abilities from wrench are not that good though. Sure you can spam Lady Smash an unlimited amount of times and hit enemies on the other side of the wall. But the damage is just not very noticeable, especially when fighting stronger enemies in the online modes. And you're also not using the ninja balls as a damage option. They're more like a temporary stun, but yeah. Nothing else. Now apart from the chaos he creates, you mostly play Ranch for his amazing SMG which has a charge up effect. If you have the green glow around the weapon then your next shot will disable robot enemies. So make them unable to do anything back which is really wild. The effect is also back in like a few seconds and when hitting a human enemy the surrounding targets will be shocked for a brief moment. So it's really great in many situations. It makes using other weapons with range kind of unnecessary. Subscribe for way more Watch Dogs Legion content if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And a total check out that Bloodline review by clicking on the screen. It's spoiler free. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.